Welcome in the second episode of the World Spy tutorial game. Today we will create our project, import the game asset and start implementing our main menu scene. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you'll be informed when I publish new video. Ok, so let's get started. So as you see, I have uh, currently opened the Unity Hub. I will just uh, create a new project, so new. Let's name it Words by Tutorial and it's going to be the 2D game and I will just select the location and press create button. So new Unity project has been created. I will change my layout to be tall. This is what I what I like to work on. Uh, okay, let's uh, now import the game asset. So uh, first of all, I will go to the project and an asset folder and then right click create folder and I will call it uh, game graphics graphics okay I will just right click show in the explorer now to just go to the folder and then assets graphics okay and this is where we're gonna put our our game asset so now let's download the game asset you can find the link in the description below this video so you have to go to my website which is the codeplanstudio.com Go to the download section, go to the free, free asset tab and then you can download from here. Just click this download button and then follow the instruction and the, the, the download link will be emailed to you. Okay, so once you have the package, you should have something. You should have the zip folder Word Spy Game Asset. I, I will just right click on this Word Spy Game Asset and then let's Ex select extract all uncheck this one and then extract okay so you should have words by game asset everything should be here and i will just go to the folder just grab these two files right click could and let's move it one folder above okay and now i will select those two folders and then delete it so inside our, uh, actually this is the asset graphics. Okay, so we don't need this one. So I will just cut it again. I will paste it here. Okay, and I will just remove this empty graphics. So, so we should have something like that. Like um, you should have the asset folder and then graphics where you have all of the graphics for the game. Okay, so everything seems to be seems to be okay so now let's go back to unity and unity should start importing all of the graphics so we have our graphics graphics in okay so now let's switch to the android build so inside our unity i will go to the file build settings select the android platform and then switch platform so everything should be re-imported okay let's close this window now and now we I will just create some folders, the basic structure for the game. So inside our asset we have a graphics and a scene. I will just go to the asset, right click, create folder and let's call it scripts. And I will need one more folder which is the standard Unity folder. And it's called resources, so create folder, resources. You need to name it exactly like that. So the resource folder will hold all of the resources for our game. Okay, so let's go to the scenes folder now and uh, let's rename our sample scene. I will just right click rename to the main menu. Okay, you will have to reload Unity. And now let's go to the build build settings and make sure the main menu sample main menu scene is added to the scene in builds so i think we are ready to start uh, put our first scene which is the main menu so double click on this main menu go to the file and then save and then the first thing we will do is uh, go to the main camera and make sure 
you have the projection set to auto graphics and then camera size to 5 and now let's right click in the in the hierarchy UI canvas and inside this canvas let's set uh, the the render mode to screen space camera and then let's drag and drop our main camera into the render camera let's uh, go to the canvas color select the scale with screen size and the reference resolution will be 1080 by 1920 should be 9 okay and then match value will be 0 0.5 so the width and the height will be scaled based on the on the screen on the camera size on the resolution okay so that's it for the canvas let's uh, now right click on the canvas ui image and i will call this image background background let's go to our graphics folder and inside the graphic you will have the background image just drag this image and drop into source image and I will just set this set uh, press this set native size okay so we have everything in if we switch to the game view as you see the aspect ratio is a free aspect currently so this is like a bit messed up so let's select from the list 1080 by 1920 so everything should be back to normal if you don't have this resolution, you can add it by clicking this small plus button and then you can set this width and the height or you can set it based on the aspect ratio, it's up to you. But I think this view works best for me, so I will just keep it like that. Okay, so we have our background, now let's add some, some button and the title. So right click in the canvas, UI image and it's going to be our title. And go to the go to the graphics main menu and then we have a title so select the title drag and drop our title onto the source image and press the set native size and I will just move it right at right up okay somewhere here will be good and then let's right click on our main uh, on our canvas again UI and then another image and this is gonna be our magnifier and let's uh, let's select the layer 2 I think the name is not correct uh, so it should be magnified so grab this magnifier picture and then drop it in the source image press set native size and I will just move this magnifier onto the Y letter somewhere here we will add the animation for this magnifier later so just let's let's for now just position it okay let's add some buttons now so right click on the canvas ui button and this will be our play button let's remove the text from it and now let's go to our main menu graphics and then drag and drop an, our play graphic onto the source image select set native size let's add another button canvas ui button and it's going to be our exit button again remove the text select the exit and drag and drop our exit image onto the source image and press set native size Okay, and I will move it down on the, one, on the Y position below the play button. Okay, so our main menu is almost ready. There is one more button we need to add, which is the setting button. So right click on the canvas, UI button, and this is going to be the settings. So again, remove the text, grab our setting image. Onto the and drag it onto the source image and then press set native size and I will move this settings button to the to be in the corner somewhere here 
you can position whenever you like when you're gonna uh, press play everything should be normal there is no action because we haven't implemented anything yet our main menu looks okay now so now let's go to the file and make sure you save the scene so press save and everything should be saved so that's it for this episode we have our main menu ready and again if you did not subscribe to this channel please consider to do so you're gonna support me this way and you will be inform informed about any new video i release so thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode